Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're gonna really quickly teach you how to add emotes to your Twitch channel. Maybe you've just got an affiliate and you're wondering how you can jazz up your stream, get a little bit of personalization, get your viewers using some of your own personal emotes. And that's what we're gonna teach you how to do. It's really quick and easy. In fact, Twitch has even made it a lot easier very recently by allowing us to not have to have the emotes be validated by Twitch. Previously, you had to validate them by Twitch. Sometimes it took upwards to two weeks um, and it was a big pain in the butt. Now you can just do it automatically. As long as you follow the guidelines and don't get in trouble with it, you'll be able to add your emotes and have them uploaded ready to go instantaneously. All right, let's go. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate to your creator dashboard. I have mine bookmarked, but if you have not got yours bookmarked, you can find it here under creator dashboard. Now, the way that you do emotes has changed slightly recently. They've made it uh, more convenient and given us more options as well. So to find where your emotes live, on this left side of your creator dashboard, you go to viewer rewards and emotes. Quite obvious, quite simple. And this is where you have all the emotes for your individual tiers, tiers one, two, and three. And they've also recently added bits tier emotes, which is quite nice. So your individual uh, viewers that have cheered and gone past these sort of bit uh, milestones, so you have 13, 3, 2, and 0 for the 25k, these guys will get special emotes just for them, just to encourage some of your viewers to drop some more bits along the way. If you put some really cool emotes in there, they might say, hey, I want that emote. Let me, let me just get, you know, maybe if someone's dropped 600 bits previously, you got a really great 1k bit. Uh, emote there. Maybe they'll drop that extra 400 to get the emote. You never know. We're definitely giving it a try. So my emote slots are currently full. Um, so to show you this, I'm gonna have to delete one. So I can just delete that really quickly because they have allowed us to add emotes instantaneously as opposed to having to wait for it to be validated. Uh, that doesn't matter. It's no issue at all. So you have uh, one image that you need to pop in here. This image can be a resolution of between 112 by 112 and up to 40. Uh, 4096 by 4096 pixels. Um, it has to be a square, not animated, have a maximum file size of one megabyte. Obviously the larger resolution you do, the better quality image you'll have, um, but they are so tiny, it doesn't really matter that much. You used to have to do three different sizes, now you just have to do the one size. You can either click here to open up a window to go searching, or if you've got your window already open, you can simply drag and drop the image into this little square here. You want to give it a suffix, so it's always going to have the prefix uh, according to your channel, and you want to add a suffix for it. So in this case, my suffix is going to be pog, because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a lot of the Twitch pogs have been very not pog. So, uh, so I added my own pog, and we're now going to upload that, and emote uploaded. Again, really nice and easy. Now watch what you put in here. If you put anything on here which Twitch doesn't like, they will remove your ability to upload emotes automatically and you'll have to go back to the old process of having them validated by Twitch. So you know, make sure you stay within the guidelines and, uh, and you'll be able to upload your emotes instantaneously. And that's how you upload emotes, guys. It's really nice and easy. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. And of course, we do have our own Twitch channel. We go live at 1 o'clock every single day, uh, 4 hours or so on weekdays, weekdays, 8 hours or more on weekends, twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. And uh, we're always happy to talk about advice. If you've got any questions about streaming, setting up your stream or anything like that, Always happy to, to answer questions and give advice on stream as well. So hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day and maybe we'll see some of you on stream. Take care. Have a good one.